how much does it cost to get guardianship of a parent? When a parent becomes unable to manage their own affairs due to age, illness, or disability, seeking guardianship may become necessary. Guardianship is a legal process that allows an individual to make decisions on behalf of someone who can no longer do so. It's an essential legal step that ensures the well-being of those who can no longer care for themselves. But what does this process entail financially? Let's dive into the key costs and considerations of obtaining guardianship for a parent in Texas. The Law Office of Whitney L. Thompson, based in Houston, can assist you in understanding the financial aspects of guardianship and help you develop a strategy that fits your family's needs. Legal Considerations in Guardianship in Texas Guardianship proceedings are governed by the Texas Estates Code, which prioritizes the best interests of the proposed ward, the person needing care. The process involves filing a petition, undergoing a court investigation, and attending a court hearing. The court can appoint a guardian for the person, the estate, or both. As part of their duties, guardians must act as fiduciaries, meaning they are legally obligated to act in the best interest of the ward, with honesty and diligence. Guardians are required to provide annual reports to the court about the ward's well-being and financial status, ensuring transparency and accountability. This adds an ongoing responsibility for the guardian, which must be taken seriously. Breaking down the costs the financial aspects of guardianship can vary depending on several factors. Attorney fees. Hiring an attorney is often necessary for guardianship cases. In Houston, fees can range significantly based on the complexity of the case. A simple, uncontested guardianship might cost around $5,000, while more complex cases, especially those involving disputes, could lead to higher legal fees. Court costs. Filing fees typically range from $100 to $400, depending on the county. Additional fees may include charges for a court-appointed investigator or a guardian ad litem, which could range from $500 to $1,000. Medical and expert assessments. Guardianship cases often require evaluations from medical professionals to determine the proposed ward's capacity. These assessments can add another layer of costs, particularly in complex cases. Ongoing management costs. If the guardianship involves managing the parent's estate, professional fees for financial management and appraisals of assets might also be necessary. Understanding these costs is critical for families to plan and ensure the guardianship process runs smoothly. Understanding Guardianship Types and Processes In Texas, guardianship is tailored to meet the specific needs of the ward. There are different types of guardianship. Guardianship of the person. This form involves making decisions regarding the ward's medical care, living arrangements, and daily personal needs. Guardianship of the estate. This is focused on managing the ward's financial affairs, including income, assets, and expenses. Depending on the situation, you may need to pursue both types of guardianship if your parent is entirely unable to manage both their personal and financial matters. Alternatively, a partial or limited guardianship might be sufficient. For instance, if your parent can manage their finances but not their daily care, guardianship of the person only may be appropriate. On the other hand, guardianship of the estate may be necessary if financial management is the primary concern. Temporary guardianships are available for emergency situations, but they must be followed by a full court hearing to establish permanent guardianship if needed. Factors influencing costs Several factors can affect the overall costs of establishing guardianship. Case complexity. Uncontested cases with family agreement tend to be less expensive. Contested cases, involving disputes among family members or questions regarding the proposed ward's incapacity, can significantly increase costs. Geographical location. Court fees and attorney costs can vary by county. In larger cities like Houston, attorney rates may be higher. Medical and expert witnesses. If medical evaluations or expert testimony are needed, these can add to the cost of the guardianship process. Guardian compensation. According to Texas statutes, guardians are entitled to compensation for their duties. A guardian of the person can receive up to $3,000 per year or 5% of the ward's gross income, while a guardian of the estate typically receives 5% of the estate's income and disbursements. Understanding these cost factors can help families prepare financially and ensure the guardianship process meets both the legal requirements and the needs of the ward. For those considering guardianship for a parent, working with an experienced attorney can provide clarity and reduce the burden of navigating this complex process.
The Law Office of Whitney L. Thompson is here to offer comprehensive legal support throughout the guardianship process, from understanding the costs involved to filing the necessary legal paperwork. If you need assistance with guardianship in Houston, contact the Law Office of Whitney L. Thompson today at 281-214-0173. Visit our office at 4201 FM 1960 Road West, Suite 360, Houston, Texas, 77068 for personalized guidance in navigating this challenging but necessary legal process.